Hey, what's happening? It should do the merciless Reese L. Black. Welcome back to the booth. Today, what I wanted to talk about is something something a bit deep, especially uh, you know for the fellas and everything, for the ladies too. And so I just wanted to all go ahead and throw this out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I wanted to talk to the fellas for a minute. How to stop hating or disliking women. I know a lot of you guys out there pretty much have been inspired by a lot of crazy content out there. So I do understand that some of the content probably has your mind boggled, a little bit confused taking you out of your natural character. You're probably a man that don't hate women, never has hated women, and you wanna love women, but you've probably been burned, probably been hurt and everything. And so you end up carrying that same anger over to the next woman who's probably a sweetheart, but you've been looking at them as all the same. Just like the ladies will be looking at brothers, just be like, oh, you black men ain't trash, y'all ain't shit, y'all need to get it together. But you've been doing it too. So I wanna go ahead and take the time to help you guys out. So let's talk about how do you get over disliking the ladies? First thing I believe that a man should do is just accept what happened. What happened to you with the last chick, your ex-girlfriend, your ex-wife, it's done. It's a wrap. It's in the past. I'm not telling you to get over it. I'm just letting you know you need to accept what happened and try to move on. Really take it to heart and just let it go. Like, hey, this happened. I don't want this to happen again. I learned from this. So let me go ahead and take a step back, work on me a little bit. But the first thing you got to do is just accept what happened. Whether she left you because you lost your job or she left you for another man, whatever the case is, accept it. Yes, you still think about her. Yes, you want her back. She don't want you no more. Accept that and tell yourself, I need to go ahead and look for somebody better than the last person. I need to look for somebody who is gonna be a better fit for me. Why? Because I am a new me. Read a few books, self-improve, change something about yourself that can let her know, that ain't my ex-boyfriend, that ain't my ex-husband. Another thing that will pretty much help you is you need to dump the innocence. A lot of us brothers especially, we were raised deep in the church. We was Koji, Baptist, <laughs> Methodist, SDA. We were pretty much deep in the church. So we never really got to see anything negative or bad or pr promiscuous about the girls there. We didn't. You probably heard a little thing here and there, but you really couldn't believe it. So we actually carried that, you know, just an assumption. I know a lot of us brothers didn't do this, but this is just some, you know, this is just an explanation for some of the men who have done it and they have done it. They did not realize that when they left those church doors, girls go out, girls show out, girls have sex. Yes, they do. Girls love having sex. And they loved having sex with a lot of men. Yeah, you kind of pretty much had to let yourself know that. And then you, when you heard that, you were just like, oh, my God, because Mr. Church Boy, you were pretty much taught to like, hey, a man who finds a wife, you know the rest. So you thought that the other ladies were pretty much in that same, you know, holy mentality, too. But nah, it was go time. It was time for them to have fun you pretty much were just at the point where you were just trying to be the good dude live by the book and be the best man you can be in jesus name yes you did but you had no idea that there were girls out there getting it in saturday night and will be in the church choir singing in the morning with a hangover you had no idea you had no idea that they were kicking it with dudes who weren't even in the church who didn't even believe in god and they were in love with these men sexually attracted to these men hell they even bought shit for these men and it killed your whole mentality like oh man are all women like this honestly you gotta dump the whole mentality of thinking that hell even church girls are good nah it's like women are going to do whatever they find fit to do for themselves they are and you have to accept that everybody wants to have fun okay 
I know a lot of you out there, especially if you're at this channel because you're pretty much a genuine down to earth guy, you may not be comfortable talking to more than one girl. I get it, but you're gonna have to. You can't be hung up on the same woman. You can try, but it usually doesn't work out well. It's okay to have options. Women have options too. And once again, you probably don't wanna compete with them. You don't have to compete. Just go with the motion. She's doing her thing, you do your thing too. And if you guys come back and like each other, then y'all you all two can go ahead and you know decide if you guys wanna be exclusive and cut off those options and just date one another and pursue a committed relationship. But you gotta have a dating rotation. I'm not saying that you gotta have sex with all these girls that you're interacting with, no but talk to them, have a great companionship with them, get to know them, converse with them, bring them into your world, all of them, two or three girls or maybe whatever. Believe it or not, some women will say, it's not true, we do not desire men who have options, we do not desire men that date a lot of girls, or we do not desire men that get attention from women. But honestly, most men who have been in the dating game, who got that game knows they pretty much heard this term, you know, one time from a woman. You mean to tell me you really don't kick it with no other girls? Why? Like they have like this disgust, like I'm the only one that's talking to you? Like I'm the one, only one jocking you? Mm -mm, we can't have that. Like they kind of want other girls to dig you too. Like, am I a fool because I'm the only one digging you? Ladies, I'm not actually taking a jab or nothing like that, but I'm just making a point. You, some of you ladies out there, you guys brag about when your man walk in and they saw all the necks that your man was, uh, you know, breaking as he was walking in a restaurant or in a club or something. I've heard it too many times. I'm not saying it's y'all, but it's out there. Yeah, a lot of you men, you got to talk to more girls. You do. And plus, it's not even about the girl. It's about you. The more you learn to converse with women, the more comfortable you will be. And then, like I said, if you find which one you like, then you can go ahead and close out those options those options and then you can let that girl that you're interested in know like hey i'm ready to be exclusive with you i think you know we would be a great fit together and if she obliges hey happy happiness in paradise you also got to come to terms with yourself of why do you want a woman in your life do you feel entitled to one just because you're a man just because you're a hard-working man because you're a good-looking man because you think you're sexy or do you just want a woman for sex and I think this is right here where a lot of dudes end up raging over women and why some of y'all really don't think women ain't shit. Because a lot of you guys have a desire, a personal desire, and you really don't care about what she wants. This is about something you want. When you kick that habit, you will actually feel a whole lot better about women. I know we have a lot of content out there who's pretty much just like, fuck what she thinks. But we have a lot of good women out there that want something more than just sex. They want that non-sexual companionship. They want that friendship. And fellas, y'all want it too, because I'm not exactly a player or a coach, but a lot of you men who are watching this channel are pretty, like, pretty much like some genuine down to earth men, and you really ain't trying to go fuck the whole block. Some of y'all just like want one or two cool chicks and then you'll make the decision if you wanna be in a committed relationship with them. But on the other end, you got to really ask yourself, why do you want to commit a relationship? Are you tired of being alone? And I get it. I've been there too. Pretty much what you really need to do is ask yourself the real reason why you want a woman. Now, if you want to be in a relationship because you just want to be with a woman, you want to be affectionate with one woman, you tired of sleeping around or you're just tired of meeting new women and starting the whole get to know your process. I get it, it gets a little bit exhausting. So you really just want one. But you gotta be honest with yourself if that's the case. Do you truly want a woman because you wanna be with one? You wanna love a woman? Or is you just trying to, you know, get a nut off? This might be somewhat unconventional. But be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you've done. Be proud of what you're doing. When you have made a self-accomplishment, you love everybody. First, you loved yourself, but you love everybody. How many times have you actually done something, completed something, and you couldn't wait to tell somebody? Like, I don't know, let's just say you finally finished, you know, refurbishing your car. 
had the spray gun in the garage and you banged out all the dents and you were completely done. You took a picture of it, put it up on social media so everybody can see it. And then you figure like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself to a coffee. You hit up Starbucks or something. You, or, you know, you're waiting for your order to come up and you just see somebody, you see an attractive woman. Hey, how you doing? Woo, woo, woo. You introduce yourself and they probably ask you, yeah, so what are you doing? You know, you know, like, oh, you know, I like the, you know, I pretty much like the, you know, I like the renew cars. I just did one today. I just finished it. Look, you are so proud of what you've done. You're not even tripping on what she thinks about you. She may look at your project, your finished project, and just be like, wow, that's awesome. You're proud of yourself. You're confident with yourself. You, you, you know what your skills are about. And I think a lot of men out there who are having problems with women really don't have a talent that they could be proud of. Whether it's like, you know, hooking up cars, you know, flipping cars, flipping houses, doing art, doing content creation, whatever. Do something that you know that you're going to be proud of. It doesn't have to be a passion, but have something that you dig about yourself and then explain it to another woman, whether you think they're attractive or not. Just talk about it. And plus, it gets your social skills up a little bit better because you're juiced and proud of yourself. Women will think of that as like, wow, you're a pretty confident guy. They might even ask you to do a project. You never know. You might oblige and be like, okay, yeah, I'll make it happen. I can flip your car too. Yeah, mo no, no doubt. I'll, I'll hook it up. You're just proud of yourself. You're no longer hating anybody because you're so proud of yourself because of what you've done. You're proud of your talent. And I think that's pretty much, in my opinion, I think that's a missing piece that a lot of men have not acquired in their lifestyle. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that vid out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. In the meantime, you know how I do. I'm out this piece. Good evening, Mr. Black. Did you